hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening from wherever you are watching from on this video i'll be teaching us how you can actually place your first order on mt5 my last video talked about how you can register on the rave and how you can actually create a synthetic account or a financial account so this is me opening my mt5 and here's it so i'm just going to click on this three horizontal line oh i already log in log out so let me try log in so these are the numerous accounts i have on my m25 this is my real account on um financial and this is my demo account so i'm just going to log in my demo account so i'm in already then i'm going to click on read so here is it this is the home page for it so assuming i wanted to trade volatility 10 or something i'm just going to click on this plus sign at the upper part click on volatility so i want to trade volatility 101 s so i'm just going to tap on it then go back and scroll down so because i already added it to my own page so i'm going to click on it remember when you want to place a trade you must have done your analysis check what the chart is saying what direction it's actually going so i'm just going to click on chart and because of this video i'm just going to be doing a brief analysis on it pardon me so i'm just going to do a brief analysis on it and um this is one hour so i'll be doing my analysis on 30 minutes so okay so on this trade i'm planning to short it so i'll go back scroll to my volatility 100 days then click on new order so once i click on new order there is what we call lot lot size you have to be very very careful with your lot size so what i do is i always clear off whatever lot size i have on my the reef before i enter such trade so once i'm done with that this is market execution i'm going to click there and these are the different order you can actually place market execution means you are placing you are entering that trade at that current price buy limits means you are telling this trade that okay i am this trade is on one um one era for example and you're telling the trade that once it gets to once it get to to so, so, so price please help me to buy right and sell limits means almost the same thing it means that you are telling the trade that you are placing your trade above the current price that's what sell limit actually means that you are placing your trade above this current price then buy buy limit means you are placing the trade below the current price that okay once it gets to this price help me to you know enter my trade and it starts pumping from that lower pr price so buy stop means the trade is already moving up but still yet you already analyze your trade and you are telling the trade that once it gets to this particular aspect of it please let it keep buying up the same thing with sell so i'm just going to click on sell limit for this trade Remember I said I want it that I know the trade is going to dip. So this is it. So I'll be always take note of your lot size. Immediately I click on sell limit. My lot size already changed to one lot. So I'm just going to click on my stop loss. What did I want my stop loss to be? So I'm going to put one three seven nine. That's where I want my stop loss to be. Then what did i want my take profits to be so let me just put one three five zero and remember what i'm doing right now is on is on demo accounts just for this illustration i'm just going to click on one three seven 
full. So what price did I want to enter this particular trade? I want to enter this trade as 137620. 137620.20. So this is I would like to take my TP to go below this price. So I want it to be let's say 70 because of this um illustration so if you can stay on then i'm going to click on please so done because i'm actually using sell limit i'm telling the price that once it gets to so this thing please start selling for me so here is it here on the chart so we have the charts here and as you can see you see sell limit you see stop loss and you see tp so this is still pumping open it gets there then it starts selling as well Please do not just enter any trade because of the way I actually treated it. I'm just using this as an example for us. So our trade did not reach where the sell limit to. It's already selling itself. So let me enter another trade again. And this time around, I'm just going to be using market execution. So I'll be selling this stuff. So this is market execution. Do not forget to always clear off your lot size and hard. So sell. So because I place the trade immediately, market execution, you can see it starts selling already. So we enter boom, right? So let me just click on chart and you're going to see what you actually set on your this thing. So this is sell here. Yeah. And because we did not place... I'm clicking on trade. I'm already on profit on this trade. I never analyze it. I just enter the trade. So be mindful. Do not enter your trade this way. So because I never put in my stop loss or my TP or anything, what do you just do it? You swipe to the left side. Once you swipe there, click on this pencil icon. Then you put your stop loss. One seven seven five point nine. 50. I'm just using that as an example. And where did I want my um, profits to be? 1773. 1773. So I'm clicking on that. And here is it. I already placed the trade. Remember, this is sell limit. So sell limit until you get to that aspect I want it to start selling from before its peak. So the next thing I want us to know how to do is how you can close a trade in profit. For you to close the trading profits, just click on this save icon here. Then you click on close with profit or either close with loss. There is another thing again I want to teach us, which is how you can close half of your trade. So for example, this trade is already going and it's on profit. And I wanted to close um, part of my profit. So because I entered the trade, let's say you enter the trade at 20 Naira and you predict the trade is going to deep to five naira and the trade is already at 10 naira remember that is half of your trade right but instead of you putting your stop loss the first time you enter the trade at 20 naira you put your stop loss at 22 naira but because at this current time the trade is already on 10 naira so what you just have to do is you change your stop loss from that 22 naira put it on 15 naira with that you've been able to save five pip so that's how it is so I'm just going to change this point. I can't remember um, the exact price I entered this particular trade actually. So 1773 point. So it's almost at our TP already. Let's go back and see. It's almost at our TP already. It has it. So it closed automatically itself. So once you click on history, history will show you what you have actually earned 
for the day. This is it. We have today, last week, last month, last three months, custom period. So this is how you do it. Then trade. Trade is showing you your current trade going on. So I'm just going to close this one because I don't do the analysis well. And sometimes what we do is we try and this particular account, I was able to burn it to 1000 and I raise it to this price. That's why you see on my history. Because I needed to take it serious as a real account. So I decided to burn the old account and start growing it from 1000 USD. So this is the last three months since I started on the trade and these are my profit. So I tried to burn it. So I'm still recovering back because of my analysis and I'm still learning as well, right? So I hope you learn one of your stuff on this video. And please kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video for me. Thank you so much.